Hello there everyone, it's me Harry and this is just a video I um, just wanted to make, I guess. So this one is going to be on my CD collection so far. You might have seen a couple of them in that Deke um, CD collection video thing I did in part 6 of my Deke collection a couple of months back, but here you go, you're going to see them again. So I'm going to show you those and then I'll show you the CDs that aren't um, Deke Entertainment related. So we're going to start off with Madeline's Favourite Songs, released in 1995 by Sony Music Entertainment under Sony Wonder. So it's got um, songs from some from some of the um, Madeline TV specials produced by Sinar and France Animation. And then there's the disc. It was also released on cassette. So there you go. That's that one again. And we have Sailor Moon songs from the hit TV series released by Kid Rhino in 1996. And it's got, um, and it's the first of three Sailor Moon albums um, based on the Deke dub. These songs are actually not too bad. They're, they actually sound pretty good. And I'm actually very lucky to get this CD because the um, Sailor Moon CDs based on the Deke dub are very difficult to find. So it doesn't mean if it's that or Lunar Rock or the Full Moon Collection, they're all rare. As rare as a moon. Next up, Hats Off to Madeline's Songs from the Hit TV Series. This was another release from um, Kid Rhino and Deke in 1996. And it was also on cassette as well. I forgot to mention about the, the same with the Sailor Moon. So this has songs from the first and second seasons of um, Madeline. There you go. And if you see, uh, and if you see, there's actually a stamp on here. It says for promotional use only. So this might have actually been some sort of um, like review um copy actually. So this might have been, so this might have been like a test release or something that I own. The cover's a bit tatty, but there you go. Then we have the Arthur Martin um soundtrack which has got a bunch of um, licensed songs on. It was released by... I've forgotten the company's name. It was released by... Motown Records. Yeah, so it's got different um, songs from different, mostly um, black artists. And, it, and there's some popular ones, like there's the Happy Birthday song from Stevie Wonder, and a couple of others. And of course, there's some original songs made for the movie as well. It's such a weird movie, and the disc is also weird as well, because it looks like a standard um, cover you find on a standard music CD, but this is the soundtrack to a director video animated movie, so that is a bit weird. Next up, Sing Along With Madeline, released by um, Coach Records in 2002. So this is basically the CD version of the um, Sing Along With Madeline um, director video special. Except this time it's it's got all the songs from season three of Madeline. Yippee. Then we got my Strawberry Shortcake CDs. We got the Berry Merry Christmas um, LP, which only has a small amount of songs. Some of it's just background music. So you have four songs from that special, and then you get some background music as well. So this was released in 2003, and it sold really well from what I heard. It comes in a different cover, though. It does not come in a jewel case. It comes in a more different light. It comes in a more plasticky case. Kind of feels okay, I guess. Next up, Strawberry Jams released in 2004 or 2005 in the UK with this release. So this is the UK version released by Spectrum, originally by Coach. And this has um, songs from the first three specials on there. Meet Strawberry Shortcake, um, Springtime Strawberry Shortcake and um, Get Well Adventure. And it's got one of the songs from um, Very Merry Christmas as well. Seabury Beach Party Music released in 2005, I think. By um, the same two companies. And this has music from Playday Surprise, Seabury Beach Party, and Adventures on Ice Cream Island. So 
to get two songs per episode, so of course they have to make albums. Then we've got Music for Dress Up Days, released in 2005 as well, I think. And this has soundtrack, and this has music from Best, Best Pets Yet, Dress Up Days, and Moonlight Mysteries. They could have maybe done an album that had both of them in on one CD, because you can fit up to 90 minutes of music on a CD after all. And then the last one they released was Rockaberry Roll in 2008. And this has um, music from um, Rockaberry Roll and um, the um, Country Fair one, I think it's called. I've forgotten what the, the name of that one. So they didn't release any albums for the last few because of Deke being purchased by Cookie Jar, but there you go. And it's got some repeat songs from other um, albums as well as um, filler for the CD. Big Country Fun was that was the name of that one. And now here comes some CDs I own that aren't related to um to um my Deke collection at all. So first of all is this one which you've seen before. Come on join in released in 2003. It was a promotional CD that was made for Playhouse Disney. And this is pretty difficult to find obviously because it's one of the few rare Dave and Alex era merchandise. There's my main man, Dave Benson Phillips, and my main gal, Alex Lovell. And other than that, it's only seven minutes long. There's not much on there. There's only six songs, and they're all really short. But it is a good collector's piece, and I'll tell you that. And then my only other Walt Disney Records CD I own at the moment is... Which music from and inspired by which? Yep, they made an album based on the um, TV series and the comics. So it's got songs from, so it's got the main theme from the show and um, the We Are Witch song that was used in the US. This was released in 2007, I think, by um, Buena Vista Records and distributed by, I think it's Warner Music Vision or something. No, EMI. EMI records because this is a UK release. I think it was Warner Music in um in the US, but EMI in the UK. But currently, it's Universal Music Group that distributes Disney's um CDs. And then, and then we got next up is Meet the Care Bears. So this, so this was released by uh, Mercury Kids in two thousand four or three, I think. Yeah, two thousand four. So it's basically just an album that's got some original songs about caring and stuff. Mm, they're kind of generic, but there you go. They were reused in that Care Bears live show. So, yeah, Mercury Kids made a lot of these albums. So there's also in on this advert, Let's Be Friends, Share a Smile, 99 and Holiday Hugs. And I don't own any of those. Some of them are quite difficult to get hold of. Here's Care Bears Holiday Hugs, a Christmas album, released by Mercury Kids in 2004. So you get some Care Bears versions of very popular um, Christmas songs. There you go. We've got the Care Bears Journey to Joke A Lot album, released by Mercury as well in 2004. And this has songs from um, the um, Journey to Joke A Lot movie. They're pretty good songs, actually. The movie is not that good, but the songs just make up for it. And there's even some original songs as well, and some of them were reused in that um, Care Bears live show as well. So, so I got mine new, but and it comes with a sticker of Funshine Bear from the movie in his CGI form. The CGI is ugly, but it's but there you go. Then we got Care Bears Karaoke Sing Like a Star which is a CDG CD. So basically, um, it comes with two jewel cases. So there's... So there's um, the karaoke disc, which is the CDG, where, where you put it in a compatible um, player. Like, I actually do own a um, player that does run these kind of discs. It's a um, Sega Saturn, funnily enough. And it has instrumental versions, and then if you put... It in like the Sega Saturn, it will display graphics. 
because it's a karaoke CD. And the other one is Care Bear's Sing Along Favourites. So this actually has original songs, despite the fact it says it's like a best of album. But um, some of them were later reused in other Care Bears albums. So on this one, you get... Um, there you go, there's the disc. They all have barcodes for some reason, but I think they were only ever sold in this multi-pack. That had, um, yeah, you know, that had all those Care Bears things in. And last but not least, um, is this album, Pig City, Reggie and the Rashers. This is a soundtrack album from a obscure Canadian cartoon called Pig City. And yep, they released an album of it. Like, Cine Group really were trying to make this the next big thing, I'll tell you that. Because it got a DVD release, which I do own, but mine's broken. And then it got this CD. There was actually a French version as well, but I only own the English one. It was released by um, Star in 2003, I think. Star Music. Yeah. Les Disc Star Records. So you get some original songs on there. Um, I would have planned to upload all the songs, but I don't, ha I don't need to because um, they're all on iTunes, I think. And I only upload songs that aren't really on, like, iTunes or anything. Because there are some obscure CDs out there that you can't be able to find on um, digital download. So there you go. Like, all those Care Bears CDs, they're not on digital download. Because the company that distributed them went out of business many years ago. And American Greetings or Cloudco don't doesn't have anything to do with them anymore. So there you go. Thank you for watching, guys. And bye for now.